Hi YouTube, today we are going to make a simple guitar switch pedal and um, so this is not even a pedal, it's just a mechanism, a mechanical switch that can control, um, that can toggle two outputs from one input or you can change uh, two inputs and give one final output. So for this you're going to need uh, three mono sockets and um, a latching switch like this, uh, let's say this. So we have an AC signal that is coming out of the guitar and um, you have a switch like this. So it's got six terminals. So the way it works is um, when the switch is pressed, these two terminals get connected. This one and this one. And when the switch is not pressed, these two terminals get connected. In either case, the middle one connects with the um, adjacent one. It's either this one or this one, which decides the output. So to make this easier to understand, uh, let me draw. Let me draw like six boxes. To visualize the switch clearly, and um, so the input from the guitar is going to go to the middle uh, terminals of the switch. Now you want to use uh, two outputs. So let's say you have output one over here, and second output here. Okay, so one of the wires from each side will go to the output. Note that these two wires are, are not joined, they just overlap. And one wire will go from here all the way here and the other one will be here. So this is the simplest um, diagram I can make. Can Setup this? will work perfectly fine if you're making this in a plastic container or a non-conductive container. But in my project I plan to use a tin can like this one uh, to be precise this one. So um, the whole thing is a conductor, right? So any each of these uh, mono sockets have the top end as a conducting end, which is also one of the terminals. So if you see uh, this this terminal is actually connected to the whole of the body of the mono socket. So what you can do if you want to uh, use a metal container is that you can leave the whole um, ground wiring part you don't need to do have this part at all you can just have this, this part and uh, you need to make sure that the red wire is going to be the terminal which is not connected to the body that is going to be this one so your whole setup would look something like this so you, you won't need the extra three terminals of the latching switch anymore so if you want, optionally, you can also use um, a switch like this, which is easily available and you could save these um, for a future project. So in my project, I'm going to make this because it's easily available and I'm going to use this for, a, um, for an upcoming project that's going to be a 386 based uh, guitar amplifier. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see that. So.
Thank you.